Hi and welcome to video series presented by Integration Bytes. In this video, we are going to see how to integrate Solace PubSub Plus with MuleSoft. I am Mohammad Akhir and working as MuleSoft developer since last few years now. Before we move on, you should have some knowledge of PubSub messaging pattern. You should have some basic understanding on Solace PubSub Plus platform. You should have a Solace Cloud trial account and basic knowledge of MuleSoft and AnyPoint platform. And in the end, you should have a REST client like Postman or Advanced REST client. In this video, we will cover how to create a service in Solace PubSub Plus, how to integrate Solace PubSub Plus with MuleSoft, and in the end, we will see a demo how this integration works. So let's move on to the first pointer, which is how to create a service in Solace PubSub Plus. Now, once you have registered and created your account on Solace Cloud, you should log in and you will see this screen where you can also see that how many days are left in your free trial account. Let's move on and create a new service. Go to Cluster Manager and click on this Add button. Once you are here and this is loaded, we will select Developer option from here because we are on trial account. And here you can see the configuration summary of the service, which will be by default for a developer service on trial account. You can select any of the cloud from the list. For our case, I will select AWS. Once this is selected, you can click here and select the region where you would like to deploy your service. I would select Asia Pacific Singapore. Once this is done, you can name your service whatever you would like. I will give Solace Mule and click Start Service. Or before this, you can also see Show Advanced Connection Options where you can allow different ports that you would like to connect with. For me, I will select all the ports. And once we have selected all the ports, we should click on Start Service button. Here we go. Okay. Now click on Start Service. While this is creating the service, that message service is starting up. I am pausing the video and will be here right after the service is created. Now, once the service has been created, you should see the details right front of your screen and which is available from the status tab. You can see the details and configurations available here. Then we have connect tab. From here, we can see different protocols and the details of these protocols to connect with external systems like MuleSoft and we will see that how we can connect using REST and SMF with MuleSoft. Then we have Manage tab, Monitoring, Configuration and Primary tab. Within Primary tab, you can test your topics and message pattern like pops up as discussed in the slides earlier. We can connect the publisher and write the topic name as test topic. Now, whenever I will publish this topic or the, uh, to this text to the topic, it should be available for the subscribers, right? Let's connect to subscribe. The topic, which is test topic, subscribe. And when I send the message, you should see that subscriber has consumed this message. Also, if you see the of application where I have deployed this integration, you can also see that subscriber has received the message which is hello world. Right? 
Now let's look into this flow in more details. Then we have this flow like pub flow, which is publisher flow, and then a subscriber flow. For the publisher flow, we are using REST protocol to connect, as we can see from here. These details are configured in this REST operation. The request operation you can see the topic name so and these are the configurations like username password and host http i have configured that to my config.yml file now let's look into publisher flow here i have got a jms listener which will be listening to topics whenever anyone publishes the topic it will behave as subscriber or consumer so these are the, these are the settings where we have set the destination as this topic and consumer type is consumer and leave everything as as it is right if you see the details and configurations of this jms then we need to have a jms client which will be sol jms which you can download from here as an Maven dependency. So I have already got it uh, into my form file. And you can also get that as sole JMS. Like if you click here, add Maven dependency and search for sole JMS. It should be visible here, right? Okay. And then we have caching strategy, leave it as default. Now we have a connection factory JNDI, which is JMS CF default. You can find these details in here. Go to monitoring. So then missing message VPN. Within message VPN, in the left tab, we should have JMS JNDI, right? In connection factors, you can see these details. Okay. Let's go back to any one platform and then leave these informations default. Then we have to configure the JNDI initial context factory. For that, we have got this value. And JNDI provider URL, it should be as I mentioned earlier, that we will be connecting with SMF. You can see these details over here in connect tab. This is in SMF. You can see the details here. Okay, and also here we have this TCP information, and then you can connect it from here. Like we have username, password, and host and port, right? And then we have to write here username and message VPN. In my case, message VPN can be found from found from here in the status. And if you look at the message VPN, this is Solace message. Okay. And then you can just press the connection, which should succeed. Right. So the application is currently running. Let's move on and try it. To say publish the message first, and before that, let's go to primary tab, and you can see that it has been subscribed to test topic. Now, if I send a message through MuleSoft using this flow, which means that I should be hitting the URL with publish resource. Let's open the rest line and here. I have got this resource with this information. You can click send. And here you can see 200 okay the message should be consumed by MuleSoft as well because we have a listener we have subscriber over here and it should be available over here as well you can see the details because we have also got another subscriber we have many subscribers so whenever the message is posted it should be listening to uh, but it should be destined by different uh, like consumers 
okay now if i uh, if we still have two consumers one over here and the other one over here now let's send a message hello world from here publish you can see the message has been consumed here and also here okay so this is all how integration works with solace pubsub plus you can use it in different scenarios in different environments so this brings end of video session if you like the video please subscribe to the channel and hit bell icon to get more such exciting videos you can also leave comments to have a video that you would like to see in future until then stay tuned